Hi everyone, it's your boy Master Chief Mike again. And this time we are talking about my replica championship belt collection. As you can see here behind me. Look at those beautiful belts. Those championship belts. They are, they are absolutely awesome. And we will take a closer look in a minute. Let's get into it, shall we? So, we are talking about my belts today. And yes, you can see. see all of them are on my bed right now so you can all take a great take a good look at them you can all take a good look look, look at this beautiful championships here you can see the european championship that i uh, that i had on my shoulder on the beginning of this video but to this beautiful championship we come later let's talk about my first championship that i bought the wwe tag team championship this is the Smackdown Tag Team Championship from <clears throat> from 2004 I think I I could be wrong I could no it was it was active in 2004 but but uh, I think uh, the the tournament about it way was way before that Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle were the first WWE Tag Team Champions that wore this beautiful, prestigious titles. And this right here is the first belt that I bought on the WWE shop. The, the, the WWE Euro shop. Was it when I remember it right? Where I bought this beautiful championship. It looks a little bit different than the newer one. You can see this is the newest, the, the, the newest championship that I bought. I bought this one. And this one was the last championship I bought. It's uh, it looks a little bit different from the design because I, at the beginning yeah I made a big mistake but I want to talk about that right now. I I had bought this championship many many years ago, and yes, you can see the the design is a little bit different from that from the newer one, from the newer version of this belt, and yeah, this was also the last championship that I bought and the first championship I bought. Interesting, huh? The, these tag team championship belts were very interesting to me because of uh, especially one tag because of especially one tag team, the Los Guerreros. 
Eddie Guerrero's first championship in the WWE was not this, but but it was the championship that he wore together with his nephew Chavo Guerrero. And I was I was very happy when they when when they got it again later when I saw them winning the WWE Tag Team Championships later as a tag team again. Because I didn't saw the first time they won it, but I sure as hell saw them wearing the belts together when Eddie Guerrero was also the United States heavyweight champion, which I have too in my collection, as you can see. But yeah, this is the first tag team title that I uh, tag team title that I bought on the WWE shop, and it's also the last one. Uh, like I said at the beginning, and these tag team championships, I, I wanted to buy, buy them because of the Los Guerreros, but many many tag teams wore them that were very successful like Benjamin and Charlie Haas the world's greatest tag team M and M Melina uh, Mercury and Johnny Nitro no M and M no? so Mercury Nitro and Melina yeah that that's that was the right order that's why M and M Sounds a little bit like M and M, but no, it's M and M. <laughs> yep, Mercury, Nitro, and Melina. So, and Johnny Mercury and uh, yeah, jo Johnny Mercury and Joy Nitro. Uh, Joy, Joy Mercury and. Uh, Johnny Nitro were the tag team champions at uh, some point, and yeah, they won the tag team belts from Eddie and Rey Mysterio when uh, Eddie Guerrero betrayed his friend Rey Mysterio. I believe it is it is, was it was a long time ago it could be also the case that um that I forgot something it it was a long time ago but but I know that Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero wore these titles as well and I also know yeah that they were that these titles were in the uh, that Chavo and Eddie wore these titles too, and the world greatest tag team wore, wore these titles, and Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle were, were the first WWE tag team champions that wore these prestigious belts. And yeah, the Basham brothers wore them too. They they won won them too, and lots of other great tag teams. Charlie Haas and Rico, if you remember who that was, wore them too. They they won them too. These beautiful tights. The Dudley Boys, of course, the Dudley Boys, wore the prestigious belts too. I was really sad to see that they didn't uh, won the newer 
champ uh, that they didn't won the new tag team championships at their last at their last run in WWE or a their latest run in WWE but maybe maybe we will see something in the future I don't know so that was it about this tag team championships uh, we now we talk about my second title that I bought and that is this one the WWE championship the undisputed championship was it at one point but this year this right here is the WWE championship version of this belt and yeah it was won by Brock Lesnar by Eddie Guerrero my favorite wrestler in the entire world sadly he died a long time ago he was my absolutely favorite absolute favorite of all time yes uh, it, it it is it he wasn't my favorite from the beginning but at some point he became my absolute favorite wrestler that's why i i love to see when he won this beautiful wwe championship against brock lesnar Eddie Guerrero was a great human being. Of course, like everyone, he had his faults. Yeah. But everyone makes mistakes in their life. And he, he was, a, he, at the end, uh, Everyone makes mistakes in their lives and he was a great human being. Um, at the end and he he was uh, yeah, he was he I'm sorry. Uh it's, it's very late at night right now but um, what I wanted to say is Eddie Guerrero had his faults like every one of us but he was a great human being he was a great father he was a great husband and he was also a great wrestler a great friend when, because I know this from by listening to his friends from that time i i have many dvds in there uh, that the superstars are talking about eddie guerrero and all of them talk about him in a good way because uh yeah he was a great human he was a great man and yeah his daughters obviously loved him. Vicky Guerrero, his wife, obviously loved him too. Yeah, and I, as a fan, loved him too. He, I was so happy to see him as WWE Champion and I would have loved to see him Winning the World Heavyweight Championship from Batista at No Way Out. But, but sadly that didn't happen.
I feel they they had plans to make to give him another title shot for the World Heavyweight Championship, but uh, yeah, sadly that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, the WWE Championship was the first, was the second title that I bought. Um, yeah, I wanted to buy the belt uh, that he won in, during his career. And yes, yeah, that was the tag team championship. The The Blue Tag Team Championships, no? the, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and the WWE Championship, and the United States Championship. I think that was the, fir the third belt, the first, the third championship belt that I bought, I bought. This beautiful... Wait a minute, I forgot some, to say something about this belt. Because sadly, I lost something about from this belt. It's, uh, you can see it here. A, pl plast a plastic crystal. No? has fallen out of this thing here, right here, the main plate, no? But uh, I can buy, um, buy a new um, plastic diamonds for this, uh, for, for, to replace it. For this championship, on the ch on the shop on the WWE shop when I'm when I remember it right. Normally they have, uh, they have um, replace replacement diamonds with them, and uh, every uh, every belt that needed. Uh, Plastic diamonds, just in case they fall out, but it only did only happened with this one right here. Uh, here, huh? thankfully, that only happened with this one that the plastic diamond uh, fall out uh, of the main plate. But uh, yeah, normally they have. The plastic diamonds, extra plastic diamonds, uh, in the in the in the bags. Because every of this belts, every single belt has a bag that you can put it. Just in case you want to transport them somewhere else. I will show the bags later. Uh, yeah. And, and with, within the, uh, the plastic bags, you can find... Uh, within, the, within the bags... Uh, that you... and that you uh, put this belt in... There was all. There was also some plastic diamonds, uh, just in case a plastic diamond would fall out. You can replace it with a new one. I was so dumb, and uh, I, <laughs> I gave them. To a, as a present to one of my friends and yeah because I didn't thought I would need them because every belt that I had so far 
had all the diamonds in all the plastic plastic diamonds on on them and uh, no plastic diamond fall out so far except this one no. yeah that was my fault but hey yeah and uh, that person that i gave this plastic diamonds to uh, to uh, can't remember where the plastic diamonds are now she wanted she wanted to use them to uh make some things um she likes to do uh I don't know what the word is in English, but yeah, she knows them. Uh, but that's not not really important. The belt to still looks beautiful, and yeah, I'm happy to have it, just like every single other belt that, that I have. So back to the. United States Championship. The third, the third belt that I bought, and I'm very happy that I have this beautiful championship. And it's the United States Championship. I love the I love the USA, and I hope that I will someday live there. The greatest, yeah, the greatest country in the world. Look at this beautiful stars and stripes. Absolutely awesome. Here you can see the statue, st statue of Liberty. Here you can see. WWE sign huh? Here you can also see the WWE sign And here is the is the sta statue of Liberty again Yeah So To the next one and I believe the next one was this beautiful championship. This beautiful intercontinental heavyweight championship was brought uh, was brought back by Cody Rhodes. You know, the two time, two time. WWE Royal Rumble winner Cody Rhodes who is on his way to main event for the second time WrestleMania against Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship, oh, excuse me, the WWE Undisputed W, yeah, the Undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship. Now that's right. Now it's right. Okay. And, yeah. He brought back the beautiful white belt what a beautiful beautiful intercontinental championship that is it is old fashioned it is great looking it is a classic it is a classic it is the style is a classic one with a with a white strap as you can see and i love it so much it is looking absolutely beautiful people like 
Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Cody Rhodes, Razor Ramon. And I do, oh, no, Mr. Perfect. And not to, for, and, and don't, for, we don't, we shouldn't forget Mr. Perfect Jr. Curtis Axel wore this beautiful championship too. I'm so happy to have this. And it is, it is part of Cody's history. This beautiful belt. He brought it back. And yeah, this is the four belt, if I remember it right, that I bought. So. And after this one. I, I don't know if it's right that, uh, that this was the fir the fourth one. It could, it could be also the fifth one after I bought this UFO belt, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But I think it is the right one when I say the Intercontinental Championship was before, before the World Heavyweight belt. But I can't really remember it right. But you know the. But, but I explained the reason why I bought it. Because of Cody Rhodes. He brought it back and it was. I love this beautiful white belt. So. Now we are coming to this beautiful. Beautiful. Big gold belt. The big gold belt, the legendary world heavyweight championship. People like Goldberg for it. People like The Undertaker for it. Edge, Christian, Jeff Hardy. CM Punk So many great people for this beautiful championship Booker T the five time WCW World Heavyweight Champion wore this belt too but he wore five time in the WCW version of it, which it, which doesn't have this beautiful WWE sign on it, it is all the old sign as you can see, not the new sign, which I find better. In my opinion, it's my opinion, it, the old sign looked way better than the new one. But Booker T was it became the Six-time world champion in the WWE and wore this beautiful world heavyweight championship and he won it, I believe, against Batista. I could be wrong and yeah, but but uh, I believe he won it against the ba Batista, but Batista uh, won it back from him at some point I can't really remember that rivalry because it was so long ago yeah and the Eddie Guerrero at some point he had a title shot too he didn't want it sadly and but but he it was planned to give him another title shot and give him a chance to have a second run with a world title. 
But sadly that didn't happen because he died. Ah. I wished, I really wished he would have lived longer, way longer. I wished he would live today. He was a great wrestler, he was a great human being. I wished, I really wish that I could have seen him live, but I never did. Because I was on many live tours in Germany. I was on many live tours. I believe the first one was in 2014. It could be it could it could be the case that I'm wrong and it was my first two was maybe at 2016. But I will look that up and talk about it in another video. Yeah, but I was so sad when when Eddie died and yeah. Uh, I saw the last match against Mr. Kennedy on TV. And I didn't know at first that the German Smackdown episodes are not uh, really... Uh, yeah, they are not... Um, they're... I didn't know knew that they were uh, taped and uh, they it needed so long for the German commentator team to to uh, make the German commentary on this uh, episodes and that they would actually put them on TV days later. Huh? In, in America. So I thought that uh, that uh, Eddie's dead would be uh, that, that, that he that I thought at first that Eddie wouldn't that Eddie didn't die that Eddie didn't die because I saw him in the match with Mr. Kennedy and it was already talked about that that he was dead and but i but i saw him on tv and i thought hey maybe that was a fault they made that was a mistake they because i did i did see him against mr kennedy in t on tv but at that point i didn't know that uh that uh it happened a short time after they taped the SmackDown episode, and yeah, the next episode showed the the episode from SmackDown, and where they honored his memory, and I was so sad. I I cried, and I was so. It was, it was, uh, yeah. Batista laid the World Heavyweight Championship on the lowrider that he drove into the arena. Uh, it was, at, at, at this episode, I believe, there was a match between Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. I I have this DVD set, but they uh, they cut this match out from this DVD DVD set because of the thing because of this horrible thing that Chris Benoit did. A year. It was a, I believe it was a year after Eddie died that Chris Benoit did, you know, the, the, the tragedy that happened with Chris Benoit and, yeah, 
you know the rest if you are a wrestling fan. Or if you were a wrestling fan for that long. It was a horrible, horrible uh, thing that happened. Uh, and I will talk about that in another video. But now we con will concentrate on the beautiful championships right here. Yeah. Chris Benoit was a, a World Heavyweight Champion at some point too. He was WCW World Champion too, but that was sadly at the end of uh, WCW. He was, I believe, the last World Heavyweight Champion in WCW. And then WCW was no more. So, yeah. The WCW uh, title uh, that he won, that wasn't really uh, recognized by WWE. So, this, as he won this title, yeah, at WrestleMania 20, I believe, was it? Yeah, it was a WrestleMania 20. Uh, yeah, and he won this title. That was in the record books in WWE. But after what happened with Chris Benoit, they they put that record out of the record books. Uh, they, they put that title one out of the record books and they uh took it they yeah they deleted him out of history if you want to put it this way if you want to put it this way now to the next championship that I thought and yeah we talked about the Intercontinental the United States Championship and uh, yeah the next one I believe it was this yeah it was this belt the European Championship Chip. this beautiful belt right here I didn't bought it at the WWE shop because I didn't saw it at that time in the WWE shop I I tried to find it in any other shop and I didn't saw it but I found it on eBay and I bought it there and I have to say it was a big mistake that I bought it there afterwards I found out that this belt came from Pakistan the quality of this Pakistan this, this, this belt right here is not really good the thing is uh, the plates looking good no? the main plate looks good as well you can see the beautiful flags here the German flag here are the other flags it's the European Championship no? absolutely awesome but what I mean with quality this championship didn't have a back so it was damaged a little bit which I can show you right here here maybe you can see it focus focus ah it's hardly to see right now because of the light maybe you can you can see it yeah here you can see it the quality isn't that good because they didn't put this championship in the back Huh? like the other ones and that's why it's a little bit damaged 
I was a dis I was a little bit disappointed, but it was but at that time we, I could only get one of these beautiful belts, this beautiful uh, European Championships over this way, and it has the old WWF sign on it, which you <laughs> will not see on a WWE belt on the. Uh, that you buy, that you can buy on the shop, because <laughs> for, when pe for people who know the history, WWF is also a uh, I I it's an it's an organization who. Uh, Rescues uh, animals, I believe, and uh, also um, protect nature and everything like that. And uh, uh, yeah, they sued WWE and they had uh, to change the name to WWE from, uh, from WWF to WWE. That's, that's why uh, the sign changed. And the name changed. World Wrestling Federation was became World Wrestling Entertainment. Uh, and yeah, this belt it looks beautiful, but it is a little bit damaged because they didn't put it in a bag like the other like the other ones. And yeah. That's why it's a little bit damaged. But I wanted this belt, and and I was happy when I finally had it. And yeah, little did I know. Some years later, they put this this beautiful European Championship back in the WWE shop, the Euro shop, and I would have been able to buy that in a modern version with a WWE sign it so with a WWE sign on it. Yeah, at the time I didn't have the money and I don't I didn't want to buy uh, two belts who look basically the same. Except for this one, except for this sign, I didn't want to buy the exact same belt twice. It's a singles title. I don't need two two belts of this, of a singles uh, title that looks basically just like this one. So I thought, yeah. Um, I don't need it. Uh, two times. Uh, I don't need two of them, so I only have this one from uh, this this version, and I'm I'm happy with it, even though it's damaged. So, yeah, that was it. And with with uh, this one, uh, here are this the bags. Uh, that is the one from my old WWE Tag Team Champion, my first WWE belt, my old WWE Tag Team Championship belt with the old sign you can see. That, that was from my first belt and here you can see the, uh, that is the, uh, the other from the other Tag Team Champion uh, chip uh, the newer one the new version that I bought the old version the new version of the blue Smackdown tag team belts no? and this uh, this is the back this is the back from the newer one the other have uh, 
Yeah. Here there's attitude sign uh, from the attitude belt from the Intercontinental Championship, which I will show you in a minute. But normally this sign is on the uh, bags today. There's this new WWE sign. Uh, and this attitude sign, this ruthless, ag ruthless aggression era or yeah, attitude era sign is on this uh, bag because the intercontinental belt that well I that I will show you in a minute is the uh, championship is the championship that I that, that I bought If uh, that, that is one of the last championships I bought, but uh, yeah, that was the one that I bought before the second SmackDown championship that I that was the last belt that I bought. Yeah, and this one was uh, one belt. Before that, it be this one, this Intercontinental Championship is the belt that I bought before the last one. Yeah, the the last one. Yeah, no. So this beautiful belt, I uh, excuse me, this is not the right order, but. I want to talk about this a little bit for a second. I bought because uh, it's another belt that Eddie Guerrero won, and I wanted it really bad because uh, yeah, because of memories. Yeah. I, I saw Booker T wore this belt too. Randy Orton. I believe Randy Orton's first championship was this one. Uh, I have his DVD. I will check it out, and uh, to 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 get the confirmation. But I believe it was this first belt. And yeah, as you can see, it looks really good. I bought this one again from the WWE shop. And it looks really beautiful. Huh? All of these belts have metal plates. Huh? I don't, I don't like the idea of buying uh, plas plastic uh, plates huh? belts. I don't want it to buy championships with plastic plastic uh, plates i wanted them with the I, I wanted to buy them with the fake leather and the metal plates yeah i will talk about that in a minute again because uh, i have to say something about the european championship because uh, yeah I have to talk about that again in a minute. But uh, this, um, yeah, I wanted this one because so many great champions wore it, and it was it was Randy Orton's first title, I believe, in WWE, and it was also one of Eddie Guerrero's titles, and that's why I bought it in the first place. He. Wanted against Ren <laughs> he wanted against Rob Van Dam. I believe uh, I have to rewatch the matches again. It is so long. It was lo a long time ago that I watched the DVDs from Eddie Guerrero, but I believe he was he he wanted against uh, Rob Van Dam, and he. Uh, 
uh, and Rey Mysterio was champion the, uh, and wore this belt. JBL won this championship. Uh, Chris Jericho won this beautiful championship. So many great champions won this beautiful championship. Jeff Hardy and yeah, Christian Edge wore this uh, this intercontinental belt. A lot of people, a lot of great people wore this beautiful championship. Yeah. Pat Patterson. He didn't want exactly this belt, but he was Intercontinental Champion too, and he was the first one, I believe. The first United States Championship, uh, the, the, the first United States Champion was Harley Race. And also a absolutely great champion in the history yeah, uh, one of the greatest champion. Yeah, one of the greatest champions are the champions from the past. Harley Race was the first United States champion. Pat Patterson was the first Intercontinental champion. <laughs> the generation of Ric Flair. What a great generation! But over this generation, we will talk another day. Before I bought the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship, I have bought the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. But before I bought the World Championship, I bought the Blue Universal Heavyweight Championship. I believe it was in that order. Because I really loved this beautiful color. And yeah, um, I was a really big fan of this beautiful belt. I, I believe I became a fan after Roman Reigns won it. And I believe it was this belt that I got the first. At first, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could be the case that I, I've bought it after this one here after the WWE champion WWE World Heavyweight Championship but I believe I bought that one as first and that one after it because I bought this one not because of the fiend I uh, I I don't get me wrong, I love the Bray Wyatt character. I didn't really was a fan of the Fiend character. Even though I bought the mask. mask it, was, it was a cool mask, but I w wasn't really a fan of the Fiend character. Because it's, uh, they, they made this Fiend character so undefeatable. It, did, it didn't really make sense to me. Uh, I know they wanted... May, I know they maybe wanted him to be the next Undertaker, but uh, that didn't make sense either because Bray Wyatt was already beaten at WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt was... Uh, Bray Wyatt... Uh, 
was pinned at WrestleMania before, and uh, so he c can't really be the next Undertaker because the Undertaker was for a long time undefeated at WrestleMania. Ah, and that's why, yeah. That's why this character, this, un this unbelievable mystical character that was un unbeatable didn't make really sense to me. So, yeah. But uh, it was a, don't get me wrong, it was a good character, but I, 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 I wasn't really the best, greatest fan of the team. I was the, f I was more a fan of the older version, the Bray Wyatt version, the Follow the Brothers version. Huh? He got the whole world in his head, that version. I didn't really was the fan was a fan of the mystical stuff, you know, the mystical things. I wasn't really a fan when the under when the Undertaker did it too. I don't like this mystical stuff because because it takes away the real reality factor in uh, in WWE. That's why I was in the past more of a WCW guy than uh, a WWF guy. I didn't really like the science fiction factor in WWF back in the day. That wasn't really much the case in WCW. Sting was kind of a mystical man, yes, but he didn't really had magical powers uh, and, and shit like that. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, WCW was for me more reality based, and that's why I like this. Way more than uh, WWF. Yeah. At that time, when huh? and, and then uh, w, WCW was bought by Vince McMahon, and we know the history. But later, then I became a big fan of WWE, especially of Eddie Guerrero. But. Over that, I have talked before about it. Um, I already talked about that. These championships, I, I, I really lo lo loved these championships, and I wanted to have them. I became a f re really big fan of the Universal Belt when Roman Reigns got it, uh, and. I bought that one because, yeah, it's it's it was beautiful to see, you know, and it was yeah, it was the world world heavyweight championship. It and many great champions wore it. Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, huh? and yeah, Kofi Kingston, huh? and. Ah, so many, so many great wrestlers wore this beautiful world championship, and I was, I was really happy to see that. The Goldberg wore that one, the Universal Belt, and uh, yeah, but but in, not in the blue version. He wore it in the red version, and yeah, um, the this this championship was. Uh, Won by many, many great people, like I said, huh? Kofi Kingston, Brock Lesnar. Huh? Uh, I'm getting a little bit tired because it's already very, very late. But uh, I wanted to talk about this beautiful belt, and I wanted to make 
this beautiful this video about it no so you can watch it no yeah i really wanted the belt because of the history of this belt because it this was the belt no? that was made after yeah john cena was the yeah, not not john cena brock lesnar was the last unified world heavyweight championship uh, champion at, at that time and after he uh won these belts he he became this belt uh, the world wwe world heavyweight championship uh, and uh, the they retired the world title and the other wwe championship which i don't have i didn't bought that other one no this uh, was the belt that was built out of this one and the other version of the wwe championship which i don't have and yeah that was the new belt that brought lesnar war and it was also won by daniel bryan and he made a new version which looked really horrible and i didn't like it and i never i definitely would never buy it yeah but this this version i, I liked and i bought it and uh, i'm i'm happy yeah i'm happy that i bought it and i was able to do that these days i can't buy anything uh or like this because of inflation everything like that at the time i was able to do that at the time i was able to do many things but now many things has happened over the years and i was i'm not able to do that right now maybe someday in the future but at the moment i'm not able to do that this right here is a weight belt it's a Hulkamania weight belt that i found on ebay as well just like the other belt the european championship belt i i, I bought that one on ebay which was a big mistake i have to say because just like this one this this belt here this weight belt came out of pakistan i think i don't know it really i forgot it got it but i think this championship came out of pakistan and unlike the other belts this championship here and this weight belt are out of real leather and i'm not really a fan of real leather no? especially when they're only used to make belts this uh, championship belt man i mean no? i because the thing is the thing is wait a minute the thing is i'm not really a fan of uh real leather championship belts or uh real leather weight belts because um yeah real other weight belts get used often 
be, uh, to train and everything. I understand that and everything like that, but uh, I don't really like to see uh, animals die uh, for for something like this. Hmm. That's why I'm happy that I bought so many fake leather belts. Uh, with, uh, I I was able to buy the fake leather belts uh, on the WWE shop, and I didn't like the fact that this Hulkamania belt, uh, weight, uh, weight belt, and this this belt, this championship belt, are made out of real leather. Mm. because I'm not really a fan of it, because, um, yeah, they are, because, because these bells are only there to, yeah, wear them at events, or um, to hang them on the wall, or to put them in some, some, some uh, put them on some places or, or or some desks or something like that to show them off you know? so to sh show them to everybody and have them basically as accessoire you know? hanging somewhere in the wall and I don't think uh, it is good um, yeah To make them out of real leather because, yeah, Enomad shouldn't die for something like this. Yeah. That's my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I bought it anyways. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, I really want to have it. Huh? And, and, but I hate, uh, but I didn't like the fact that this belt is on out of real leather. But, yeah. I bought it because I want, wanted to have it. And it's the only belt that I have, uh, only championship belt that I have that is out of leather, real leather. The fact that it is out of Pakistan is another thing that I don't like, which I found out later. Because I know uh, how they treat animals over there. No. And yeah, that's not really a good thing. Yeah, same with this one. Yeah. I really wanted to have it because I didn't know where else I could get that thing. But same thing with this one, I'm not really a fan. Yeah. But I wanted to have it and I bought it. At that time, I didn't really care because I wanted to have these titles. But later, I was, I, I was, I, I thought about it a little bit more. And actually, I, I'm, I don't really like the fact that they, these titles, this, this title here is out of real, out of real leather, and this weight belt is out of real leather. But I, but, but uh, yeah, back then I didn't really care about that, no. Which, which I do really care about is the, the fact that it came out of Pakistan. That pissed me a little bit off.
because I don't because I know how they treat animals over there. Uh, yeah. But anyways. This one was uh this is my w this is my um uh, this is my replica belt collection my WWE championship belts I really want uh, to buy some other belts in the future when I'm able to do that again but we will see when that happens. <sighs> but right now I don't have uh, the opportunity to do that. Yeah. Oh. I have talked enough. It's already a video that is over an hour again. And yeah, as you can see. Yeah. So I will end it right here. Wait a second. Yeah. This were, is this were all my replica championship belts. And this there are the story about them and yeah now I will put them all back in their bags because I don't have any place to uh, to put them on I don't have a free desk or something like that for them that's why I place put them in the place they are you put them back in the place they usually put uh, uh, put them no nah. I will back, put them back in the place they yeah, usually put them uh, and lay lay them back no nah. and yeah what can I say except for see you all in the next one. Your boy. Excuse me. I'm very tired. See you all in the next one. Your boy, Master Chief Mike.